All right, I think it was Sting that said, I can't stand losing. Or was it the police? Or Sting and the police? I don't know. But I lost the last one, so I'm looking for a little bit of redemption today. So we're taking on a food challenge, which is named after a mythical beast, which is very hairy and does not like human physical contact. So it's perfect for me. It's called the Sasquatch Platter. Or Bigfoot to uh, most normal people. Shut up, let's get inside. Sorry, that was a bit, that was a bit hard. <laughs> oh, sorry! <laughs> Right in there. Uh, yeah, ketchup, please. Oh, that was right in my, my left peck's my better peck as well. I can't believe you're actually going to try a chicken burger. Thank you. <laughs> if only nobody went back to a Heinz ketchup, I would have brought my stash from the car. <laughs> Alright, so we're at Dude versus Food today, and we're taking on the Sasquatch platter, which I think one person has done before. Looks delicious. Mrs. Beard's got a chicken fillet over there. There was no garlic bread on the menu. But you get 30 minutes to do this. So I'm gonna get the waitress's attention, start the timer, see if we can get it down. All right. Let's go. I don't know if you can see the timer or whatever. Stop the giant onion rings. They look bigger than my head. Yeah, but Mrs. Beard has a pinhead. She looks like one of the Goombas from that terrible Mario Brothers movie from the early 90s. Anyway, today we're starting off with some onion rings. Uh, actually, we started off with some mild domestic abuse, but now we're doing onion rings. The onion rings are actually delicious, so I'm gonna leave them to the end. Eat it with your hands, man. You're embarrassing me. It's quite hard when you've got a plate that spins. Yeah, Lindsay often struggles with the laws of physics, but uh, anyway, welcome back to another video. So much sauce on these things. <laughs> There were definitely some saucy chicken wings. Put the bones over here. <laughs> My beard's just covered in barbecue sauce. Oh. Are you are you proud of this? Are you proud of this? Yeah, I, I mean I was proud of you until that moment. Oh uh, it's stuck. Gotta clean those bones. They're not actually wings, they're all drums. Not that I'm complaining, I'd rather eat these than the giant chicken from the Game of Thrones special. There's so much sauce of it, looks like there's stuff left on them. After an inspection, guys. And it's not. Yeah, you're not really an independent adjudicator, though, are you? I'm gonna just wipe some of this barbecue on the sausages. Oh, Lord. Oh, the sausages look... <laughs> they look like anemic sausages at the minute. Like, they're really pale. Yeah, I've got to agree with that observation. I'm not sure what kind of sausages these things were. They tasted okay. But they were not the most appealing colour. Hard to do it. Why is it so pale? I don't know. I've never seen a sausage so pale. Oh my god. That's how you do it, babe. But yeah, a lot of people ask me how I got so good at eating sausages. Well, never you mind. <laughs> What on earth are you doing to that chicken? I'm pulling it. I don't want that bit to stick around. Right, guys, that is enough chicken for me. I've done well. So while uh, Mrs. Beard posthumously tortures that poor chicken, I'm going to put some of the bones off to the side in a little basket. And I try to avoid doing food challenges, you know, where there's meat on the bone involved because you never know how clean they're going to insist you uh, you make the, the bones. And obviously that slows you down, but they're very reasonable here. Uh, they were happy with the, the cleanliness of the bones. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Just you. Ketchup? 
No, thank you. Yeah, I think that was her idea of a joke. There's enough sauce on this plate to last a lifetime. But anyway, I should mention what's in this thing. So there's a rack of ribs, some chicken wings. I'm not sure how many. I didn't count. Some weird, rather pale looking sausages. Some uh, coleslaw, some pulled pork off to the right there. Some giant onion rings, which were delicious. A real highlight of the meal for me. And like two pounds of fries, which were not a highlight of the meal. I promised the waitress that I wouldn't make a mess. Normally I'm a man of my word, but that was a promise I could not keep. It was never gonna happen. Yeah, I'm 33. Too late to change the way I eat now. Anyway, we're going in for the remaining. Actually, no, I'm not gonna eat the onion rings just yet. Saving those to the end. But I am gonna start making some progress with the fries. Don't ask me what that sound was. I'm not sure if she was singing along to the music. They were playing Great Balls of Fire. Oh, I ate fried. Do you want me to take this napkin away and get your two chips off of it? Say it, wet wipes for that before he's having some wipes. It's not enough wet wipes. Yeah, wet wine. They can't. <laughs> you definitely wet. <laughs> I should apologize at this point as well for the position of the timer. I could have added one digitally afterwards, but I couldn't be bothered. But there's about 10 minutes left, I think, at this point. Oh. <laughs> it's only a little bit of sauce, man. I don't want your sauce on me. <laughs> <laughs> you put my sauce on you plenty of times. <laughs> Not in a public place. Well, let's, let's get eyes in the game. I don't actually know how long I've been going. I can't read upside down. We well, can grab the timer. 12 minutes 39, 38, 37. So 20 something. I don't know. You've got 12 minutes left. Yeah, my mistake. It was actually around 12 minutes that was left at this point on the clock. Too much lollygagging at the beginning there. So I'm actually trying to speed up at this point because I'm thinking this is actually going to go down to the wire. Just moving on to the pulled pork now, which was a little greasy. This was not my favorite part of the meal. Good luck. You can do it, brother. You can do it. Uh, this was cool. Uh, another guy that was in the restaurant at the time decided to do a uh, another food challenge to do, which is a hot dog eating challenge. And uh, he actually started off really well. Tried to give him some encouragement. But um, I think I left the restaurant. He had probably like a pound or two left and only a, a minute or so to finish it. So I don't think he did it, but uh, he gave it a good shot. Cold salt, cold I left the cold salt sauce. Is he even seasoned it for you? <laughs> <laughs> I left the cold salt to the end last time. Seven minutes left. I made the same mistake last time. Left the cold salt to the end. It's cool though, I time lapsed it this time because last time it was totally gross. This is what 10 centimeter dilated is like. Is that what you just said? <coughs> no one <gonna> serve it. <laughs> Yeah, don't even ask. Mrs. Beard getting really broody lately. Keeps asking me to, um, well, you know, I'll, I'll spare you the details, but she wants a baby. That's the long and short of it. So I just think she's got childbirth on the mind. I don't know why she uh, compared that onion ring to a cervix, but um, you, you'll have to ask her. Anyway, we're finishing off rather disgustingly with this onion ring. I don't know what I'm doing to it. Kind of strips all the crispy batter off the edge and we're just left with the rather wet sliver of onion ring but uh, we're gonna get it done you can about tell that in the bottom left hand corner of the uh, the plate you'll you'll be able to see a little bit of gristle that's the the cartilage from the end of some of the bones and the ribs so that's not edible so you know don't worry about the food in the corner it's uh, it's all legit but um, this took a lot, a lot longer than it should have taken 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, catch you for the next one. The Easter special. Two minutes 26 to go. That was probably disgusting to watch. Yep. How you doing, man? Yeah? You gonna smash it? I think reality is starting to set in. Is it? <laughs> That's negativity, come on, I, I believe in you. Messed around a little bit too much there. Jibber jabbering at the beginning. Only had two, what, two minutes, two and a half minutes to spare in the end? Yeah. So it was a close one, but we got the win. I don't think the same can be said for that uh, kid that was doing the food challenge at the same time as me. Although he gave it a good shot. He had like three minutes left to eat about a pound of food and he looked pretty full. Anyway, we're gonna go home now. Eyes on the road? What's wrong I know, with you? There's a speed cameraman and I wanted to know what speed it was because <laughs> I'm doing 35. And I wanted to make sure it was. Oh, what's the speed? <laughs>